Well guys, happy new year. It is 2019, the year that I'm gonna be posting every single day. Whether it's a 10 minute video, whether it's a three minute video of me doing absolutely nothing, I am gonna be posting every single day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys will get a video on EMC Vlogs. Now, it is 2019 and I figured, you know what? My name is EMC Vlogs, but if you guys realize, my videos were never vlogs. Vlogs is like kind of your day in the life. I would always record trip to the thrift, trip to the mall, trip to this. So 2019, we're really gonna try to do raw vlogs. I literally just woke up, it's 10.30. I have no idea what I'm doing today, but I start off my day by first of all saying what's up to Captain. You guys love seeing Captain, and he's gonna be in a lot of more videos. I know, you like it. You love the camera, don't you? I know. I know, little guy. I know. Are we gonna have a good year? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Then I start off by feeding him. Now, Captain is a French bulldog, which means that his stomach and his skin is kind of sensitive, so I have to feed him grain free. I usually do half and half, you know, half wet, half dry. Just giving you guys a little insight on, on what Captain eats. Look, he's, he's ready. He's like, where's the food at? He's ready. So we do a half a cup of dry. Watch out. Then we do a half a cup of wet food. All grain free, like limited ingredients, so it's like really good for him. Then what I do is I come over here and add a little water. So that way it kind of mixes up a little bit better. Now, the thing about Captain also is that he's a French Bulldog, his nose is very small. So for him to eat is really difficult. He probably has to eat like one pebble at a time and literally takes almost an hour. So what I have to do is I have to hand feed him. Basically, I pick up a couple pebbles and he does this. I have to do this for the morning and night time so that way, if one, he can get all the nutrition and two, it's a lot quicker. With this, he eats in about 10, 15 minutes versus an hour just because he gets more pebbles because I can actually hand it to him versus him trying to get it because you could see it's pretty difficult for him to uh, get it and that's why he's kind of freaking out like, yo, can you just do it? See, like he just licks the sides and everything. So unfortunately, he's my baby, he's my child. I got to hand feed him every day. So usually after I'm done feeding Captain, that's when I go and ship out the packages. Now I went to the post office yesterday, I shipped about seven items, so today unfortunately I don't have any packages to ship out. But if you guys are new to this, make sure you guys check out link down below, emcvlogs.com. I post about 25 items at a time. I might be doing more maybe for 2019, maybe 50 items, but I figured if you have 100 plus items, People that want to check it daily to see what's new, they don't want to scroll through 100 items, so I feel like 25 items is like the perfect amount. So today, I think I might hit up a Goodwill. Exactly not, you know, usually I have kind of a game plan of what I do, but today, I literally had no plan at all. And that's why I kind of just picked up the camera and just figured, you know what, let's just do like a little, like a raw vlog, per se. I don't think I've showed you guys my inventory in a long time, so this is kind of like where I have like setting up as of now. I know in previous apartments, I've had a lot of stuff, but now it's actually cut down. Obviously, it's a lot of shirts. This is what actually I picked up yesterday. I'll show you guys a little preview. It's Polo Jeans Co., a Polo Spell Out, a couple Black History, a brand new 97 Marlins, um, an MLK. What do we else got? We got this Rose Bowl from 97, I believe, 95. So this is just all the t-shirts kind of folded and whatnot. And... I guess I have some more over here, like uh, the bootleg Gucci, some sneakers for sale, some uh, other sneakers and whatnot. But I decided before I hit up the thrift stores, I might as well list a few things just because I did go thrifting and I do gotta list some things. Also, I showed you, let's show you how I list. So one, I list in the middle of my living room. Yes, like I use the ceiling light. I don't have a ring light. I used to have a ring light, but it broke. So to be honest, I just do it on this. Now I use this, it's a vintage Marlins flag. Just to kind of keep it unique, uh, you know, every picture will have the Marlins thing so people will know, one, that's your photo. And again, just keep it unique, you know, kind of different. A lot of people use white backgrounds, some people use carpet. I decided to use this. You can use whatever you want, but I'm just showing you guys, you don't need a professional setup. I don't, and you know, I work perfectly fine. So let's go and grab the stuff. Look at Captain just sleeping in bed. Sleeping in bed, guy? You tired? <laughs> All right, so we are going to list 
I listed this yesterday, which is the Challenge Court, but we're actually gonna list it on my website. I do list a few things on like Macari, Depop, just to see if some things, usually I never sell it on there. It always sells either on my Instagram, on my personal page, but it doesn't hurt to cross list at all. So we're gonna grab these two shirts. What else we got? We'll grab the Polo Jeans Co., the Polo Spell Out. Uh, let's try the Rose Bowl. We're basically gonna grab everything that's new or that I haven't been listing. Uh, these Tommy, no, I think I have pictures. Some things I do have pictures of, so I don't need to grab it, because usually what I do is once I get an item, I take a picture of it as soon as I get it, and then I fold it and put it in this. But some things for Depop and Macari, I think this would be good. Um, I think this would be good for Depop and Macari, this DKNY. Sorry, I'm like doing with one hand, it's horrible. Um, and let's just start off with that. By the way, a lot of people are asking me what is this shirt that I was wearing in the round two video. So what it is, it's of old school rogue status. What's kind of funny about this shirt, I'll throw a picture up. I bought this shirt from PacSun in 2010 for like $35. I'll put a picture right now. And then I went to the thrift the other day and they had that shirt for literally $2. So it was literally meant to be, I'm keeping that. And I'm actually gonna buy a few more on eBay just because I did love that shirt. And it's kind of like nostalgic to me. Like I remember I couldn't even barely afford this back in the day, $35 shirts. Now they're going for two to $15, $20 sometimes on eBay. So basically this is all I do. I put the pile to the left and I will sit here, take the picture. I have a tape measure so that way I can measure pit to pit and then bottom to bottom. And I'll just take it with my iPhone. I have an iPhone 7 Plus so the camera is really good. And that's my little setup. That's how I post pictures. So I'm gonna quickly run through this. Then we're gonna probably hit up in the thrift store too. And you know, just kind of continue a day in the life. You know, I really wanna do these raw videos. I kind of, inspired by this name this guy named ddg i don't know if any of you guys watched him if not check out his channels but literally he posts three videos a day they're about 15 sometimes 20 minutes sometimes even 10 minutes but he posts three videos a day and they're literally just raw footage like seconds of his day like he cuts it in three different parts and i think that's amazing i really want to try to do that so maybe that's something to do for 2019 so it's been a little over an hour now. It's about 1.50. I started at one o'clock and I'm basically done with that. And now we gotta take out the little man. He has to go potty. Come on, let's go potty. One good thing about living at a house is that we have a backyard that he can play with. Come on, come potty. Come on, guy. Go potty. Go do your business. Really? Really? You know that you're not supposed to be laying down on here, right? Yeah, you do know. This is where dad takes pictures. You're not supposed to be laying down on here. You have a bed right there. You have my bed right there. And then you have another bed in that room. So, you need to move, sir. Excuse me, you need to move. Scooch. Go on. Scooch. No. Well, what? You went from there to there, guy. Come on, go on your bed. Go on, go on your bed. Jump. Go to your bed. Okay, yeah, go to that bed or this bed. Not right here, okay? So I actually decided to go to Uptown Cheapskate. Now, Uptown Cheapskate is kind of like a Play-Doh's closet. You can bring their stuff. I actually found really nice stuff. I actually found a Burberry top there uh, before Christmas, actually. I went there and it was actually the perfect timing. I am selling this currently on my website, but it is the Nova Chuck Burberry. So we're gonna head over there and I actually brought a backpack of stuff that, you know what, maybe I could try to get store credit. Last time to get that Burberry, I did bring store credit. So we're gonna bring the bootleg Burberry. Uh, we have a Florida Panthers jersey, a Polo Jeans Co., uh, the Tommy board shorts, uh, Christian Dior, and a bootleg Gucci. So we're gonna head over there, see what they got, see what they take, and let's just continue this vlog, guys. 
So literally as I was about to walk out to head out the door, I just got a notification and I don't want to show his address, but somebody actually just bought the Burberry for $100 shipped on my website. Damn. So literally I posted that within five minutes, 10 minutes. I posted that while I was posting other things. I just said, "Lo, let me throw it up on my website and it's sold. So clearly I need to start posting a lot of more things on my personal website because you guys clearly check it daily and see, make payments. But let's go over to the store now. And if you're wondering, this is my vehicle. We got the electric bike. This goes about 25 miles per hour. I can take it 10 miles. I can bring it on city buses. It was about $1,000, but honestly, it, it's worth every penny. So we're gonna use this for today's little journey. All right, finally made it here. Let's see what is here. Hardwood Classic. We have like these velvet basketball pants. Not bad. Ralph Lauren, got the denim supply zip up. Polo Ralph Lauren RLX. A little fading up. Brand new Tommy Hill figure. Carpenters. Not bad. Then we got these Nikes. I've never seen these. 305. I'm guessing obviously Miami edition. 80 bucks. Air Max 305. So unfortunately it was super loud in there. I couldn't film. They had a few things, but I've showed you guys a lot of the things that are sitting like the Gucci and all that. So I didn't really want to reshow that. They only bought two items, $10, whatever, $10. I'm gonna hit up Goodwill now though. All right, so I was here yesterday, so I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm probably just gonna do a small thing, but let's see what they got. Cause yesterday I did find some good things, but let's see what they have today. The reason I, the comments on, on round two, is because they kept saying it's gonna be like Melrose. Like, oh, Flight Club's opening, round two is opening, but they don't understand the Miami market is not like that. Exactly. You know, like, no, no offense, but okay, you're rocking Yeezys, yeah, yeah. you're wearing sweatpants. Basic. Exactly, we're in basic. I'm rocking like a reprint Nirvana, gym shorts, and like, we don't wear the hype stuff yeah. that it is, you know? So, by the way, shout out to this guy. As soon as I walked into Goodwill, he's like, yo, I watch your videos, and we're like the only ones in here, so it's hot as hell in here, too. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, Miami's not gonna be like Melrose. We're not gonna be like LA. We have such a specific thing that it's, I don't know. So unfortunately, like I said, yesterday I did come here and I literally spent like an hour. There's not much, I just found these Tommy jeans with a little hit right there. Tommy jeans, the leather patch. Oh, I guess they're cargos because it says Tommy jeans right there. Not too bad, let's see what size they are though. 29.30, eh, kind of small, but not too bad. I think they want $8. Eh, this could be a potential cop. Some KDs. Super beat though. Nothing else good. Air Max. 